Just wanted to make a quick video about the update that Nintendo dropped today for the Nintendo 3DS. It's firmware 11.17. And um, if your, Switch or your 3DS is modded and you update, um, you should be fine as long as Luma is on uh, one of the newest firmwares. Uh, the way to check that is to go into Universal Updater. Or the way to update it is going to Universal Updater. And it should check and see if there's any updates for it, that app. But then go over to this star here, Luma, and you'll see it's got version 12.0.1 is the newest. But if you want to see what version you have, if you push and hold the left bumper, the down button, and select, see if I can. Yeah, hold left bumper down on the D-pad and the select button, and it'll bring up Rosalina menu, which is tied to um, Luma, but it'll tell you what version you have here. If it's anything other than that, go ahead and run that update and then reboot your system. Um, then you should be safe to run the newest firmware and still remain modded. So I haven't updated this 3DS yet, so I'll show you that since I'm on the newest version of Luma, we can go ahead and update this system and the jailbreak will remain intact. And one thing I'll mention too is one of the coolest parts about modding your 3DS is if it's a new 3DS, you can force it to run in the higher clock speed and access the level two cache, which will optimize a lot of games that weren't even made for the new 3DS clock speeds and level two cache. You'll get higher frame rates, faster loading times, and uh, better stability in a lot of cases. Apparently there's a couple games that will crash. I haven't run into that yet, but it definitely makes it a much more enjoyable experience for things like Castlevania, um, which I thought was really fun. So the update's completed. So we're back in here. And we'll just verify that the firmware did complete. So yeah, you can see we're on 11.17. And we'll go ahead and try and load up the Rosalina menu again with one hand here. Once it loads, let's see. Okay. So yeah, we're still modded. Everything works well, but so if you go down here to new 3DS menu, those are the options for the new 3DS. So you can disable level two cache or set clock rate. Now you can do this in the Rosalina menu. The only problem is you'll have to do it every time you go into a game or the main menu um, to reset those clock speeds. If you wanna do it permanently, you power off. I'll show you how to do this. We're gonna enter the actual Luma settings. You wanna hold select while you push the power button. Brings us in here. So you'll wanna go up here to new 3DS. And you can see right here, I have that box checked. By default, it's over here on off. So you just want to go over here, push A, 
until everything's checked. So I'm just tapping the A button to toggle through until we get to clock level two and clock plus level two enabled by default. And then to save those settings and reboot, you just click the start button. And then it'll be system wide by default. Anyway, I spent a few hours working on this today, so just wanted to pass it along in case it helps anybody else. Peace.